Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and today we're going to continue our Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn Hard Mode Iron Man Run with Chapter 11. Apostle Sonaki arrives without warning at the Central Army's main camp in Crimea. With a strength born of conviction, she exposes the Senator's vile plot to undermine and usurp her. Valtome counterattacks with a claim crafted by the Senate that the Apostle is a fraud who, along with her Prime Minister, Sefer, is attempting to deceive all of Benyan and lead them away from the Goddess's graces. To the citizens of Benyan, the Senators are chosen by the Goddess and are worthy of the same respect given to the Apostle. As for the Apostle, her image is tarnished when the Senate imprisons Prime Minister Seferin in her name. An ever-growing number of Benyan citizens are willing to believe the Senators claim that the Apostle is an agent of evil trying to deceive them. So it is that the Central Army is divided. One camp believes in the Apostle, and the other supports the Senate. This new turmoil fans the flames of chaos into a mighty conflagration burning across Tellius. Chapter 11, Just Cause. I just want to say, the people of Banyan are pretty stupid. I mean, how? at what point has the Apostle done you wrong to the point where you should not believe her? Right? I mean, Banyan's been in power this entire time across Tellius forever. And yet, and the people are prospering, you know, because of it. And yet, because of this split between two, you know, factions all of a sudden the people of Banyan all of a sudden believe that the that Sanaki is fake she's not real she is not worthy of following even though Banyan's been prospering under her rule now under the Senate's rule all of this bad stuff is happening so it's like makes no sense to me I think the Banyan people are retarded just like the Dane <laughs> citizens are just as stupid in this story for uh you know just going with uh supporting Banyan I don't know Again, story driven, but it's still pretty funny to think about. Alright. Thank you for coming today, everyone. I am in your depth, all of you. The King of Gallia, Canagus, and the King of Phoenicia, Tabarn. The Serenus Foil family, Raphael and Rayson. And the Queen of Crimea, Alencia, who worked tirelessly to arrange this meeting and generously extended her hospitality. She gave me hope when I was driven out of my country and offered aid when all seemed lost. You have my sincere gratitude. Before we begin, allow me to make a few things clear about the recent war between the Benyon and the Laguz Alliance. When we received your letter stating that the Senate had made scapegoats of the Herons to, for pr the previous Apostle's assassination, Prime Minister Sephron and I decided to investigate the Senate and prosecute them if needed. Then the Senators made their move. What did they do? They imprisoned me in a room in the, the Minor Cathedral. They then forged an arrest warrant for Sephron and jailed him. I admit, there had been major risk between myself and the senators in the past. However, I had no idea that they would stoop to such deplorable acts. I should have known. This is all my fault. You didn't think you were behind all this war mongering? What, did you, what you just told us confirms what we had guessed. I have been forced to flee my country, but that doesn't change the fact that I am the Empress of Benyon. I will not allow the Senate to declare me false, nor I will stand, nor will I stand by as they seize and revit Ravage Benyon. I must return to my country, save my people, and take back my birthright. To accomplish all this, I would like to form an alliance with the Laguz tribes. Help me save Benyon. I will accept, if you agree to a few conditions. First, the immediate and total emancipation of any Laguz remaining in slavery. Second, that new diplomatic relations between our peoples start with a clean slate. No bias against Bjork or Laguz shall be tolerated. Lastly, a full alliance between our countries to further solidify this agreement. If you agree to these terms, I give my support. I hope that at long last the dream that both King Raymond and I held can come to fruition. I agree with King Canagus completely. If these conditions are agreed to, Crimea would like to join this alliance as well. Do you intend to return the Serenus Force to the Herons when you take back the throne? Of course. The goddess loved the forest because the Herons made their homes there. I will see to it that you can return home. My brother, we can finally go home. 
our family can be together again in our own homeland and for the first time in decades. Alright, I'm all for this. I ain't need much convincing though. I just want to rip those idiot senators in half. Gallia, Phoenicius, Serenus, and Crimea shall hereby make a pledge. Apostle Sanaki, we will wholeheartedly support your effort to return to the throne so long as we stand united in our ideals. Please bring back our uh, please bring peace back to our lands. Each of you has my deepest gratitude. I swear I will accomplish that goal. So it sounds like everyone is on the same side now. That's the best news I've heard in a long time. I feel the same, but it's too early to celebrate. I will not be happy until I take back my country. How we fare in the battles to come will be of the utmost importance. Girl mercenaries would be glad to help. I know that we're a small unit, but we'll do our best to see the job done right. I certainly hope you will, especially since I've decided to make you commander of our combined forces. Wait, hold on there. What did you say? Listen, Apostle Sanaki, I'm really flattered, but General Zelgius is much more qual- Zelgius returned to the Empire by himself to rescue Prime Minister Sephirin. Our army consists of the troops he left behind, as well as the armies of Crimea, Gallia, and Phoenicia. Ike, you're probably the only person in the face of Tellius who commands respect from all four countries represented here. Ike, I know you're not happy about this, but you're the only person who can bridge the rift between the Lagoos and Bjork. No, I am not happy about it. I thought my days of being a general ended three years ago, but I won't refuse. If you think I'm the only person who can pull this off, then I'll do my best not to let you down. Thank you, Ike. Let us go meet with the armies and the soldiers you'll be leading. They will want to meet their new commander. <sighs> not again. <clears throat> Ike doesn't get promoted until later, right? Um, hmm. May have to look into that. Alright, Sanaki. I'm here. What do you want? Don't look so sour. I always look like this, Apostle Sanaki. Ah, yes, that's true. Well, I didn't summon you to talk about your grumpy expressions. I wanted to give you something before we set off to the battle. What is it? Do you know what this is? Not a clue. When I fled the cathedral, I took some valuables with me. This is called a Master Crown. It's said to release a Bjork's hidden, hidden power. I've never heard of it. Not everyone can use it, so I think. So think before you pass it on to someone. Alright, I'll take care of it. I'll take it, thank you. Uh huh. Sigrun. General Ike, thank you for helping the Apostle. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I would have refused if I had known that I'd be commanding the entire army. Hmm. That's why we didn't tell you beforehand. That's a pretty devious move, Sigrun. Here are some funds. You can properly, uh, properly prepare for the upcoming battle. Show us how you've grown since the days of the Mad King's War, General. Cool, 20k. Rivals! Ha! 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 You really push yourself in training, don't you, Karen? Huh? Ah! Oscar! You snuck up on me! Only a true rival of mine could accomplish such a feat! I've been watching for half an hour. What? Then why didn't you say hello? And I would have expected better manners. I did. You didn't notice. Ah, yes. My, con my concentration while training is unbreakable. No one can distract me. Hmm. I wonder if he realizes that he contradicts everything he says. What was that? If you have something to say, let it out. Speak like a man. Stand tall. Yes, yes. Whatever you say. Here, I got this for you. What, what is this? This is an imbue scroll. Imbue is a skill you should learn, especially since you always train until you're soaked in your own blood. I've never heard of such a skill. Is it special? Ah yes, very special. Why would you give such a precious thing to me? Well, um, I just told you. I cannot accept it. I accept no charity from rivals. Why do you have to be like this? We are equals. I need no favors from you. Run along now. <sighs> I don't have time to talk to you. I'm too busy training. Go on, leave. <clears throat> it was meant as a symbol of friendship for my long, lifelong rival. What? But I guess if you won't accept it, I'll find someone else who will. Wait, I'll take it. You'd swallow your own words? Uh, never. However, <clears throat> I know that your lifelong rival is me and no one else. If your gift will mark me as your lifelong rival, I must accept, I must have it. That's what I like about you, Sir Simpleton. You insult me? No, that was a compliment. 
You're a very simple knight, living only for battle and whatnot. Great, thanks. Life is boring without you, Kieran. <laughs> Funny. All right. Um, support-wise, I do not believe we need to do anything. Yes. Okay. So our armies are now combined. Yes. Finally. Cool. Kind of. Uh, we do not get everybody. Yeah. We don't have. Uh, am I blind? I don't have. Uh, what's his name? Joffrey here. So yeah, Joffrey is not part of our army, uh, but we do get Kieran. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So we get we get Kieran, Maclock, Astrid, and Marcia. So yay, Marcia is back with us finally. So there's that. Um, I don't. She couldn't support, right? Yeah, I know. So no one here can actually support with anyone else differently. So that's fine. Skill-wise, I didn't think we needed to do anything here, right? So Marcia still has the Paragon on. Uh, I think she, she can hold on to it for now, maybe. Although Flyers may not be the best unit to take here. We'll see. Heather doesn't need the Blossom anymore. Because she did level. And I didn't get any skills, correct? Oh, I got no fi imbue. So we don't need those. Uh, Titania, Har. Rom still has celerity. Don't know if you'll need it. Maybe we'll see. I guess it depends who I want to be leveling up right now, for the most part. Like, Miss, she's kind of under-leveled at this point. I need to get her to level, you know, a higher level. She doesn't have to be 20, necessarily, but a higher level would be nicer uh, for when we do go into part 4. But yeah, otherwise, my Blossom doesn't really need to go into anybody specific. I could give it a Har to uh, give him one final good level, perhaps. Or even Titania. Um, or even give it a Kirin for one good level. But I think we'll skip for now. Uh, let's go to the shop. What's in the shop? Nothing of huge concern. We have Thor on here. It's S Thunder. However, as I mentioned in the past, I'm not a big ma mage user. And not to mention, we are not using mages for the most part. Um, so we won't even need to buy it. The mages that we will be using, obviously, is Mikaya, she's required, and Sanaki, she's required. So, other than that, I don't think I am using mage units. Because I'm not a big fan of mages. Haha. <laughs> uh, so, by the way, um, I know I forgot to mention this at the very beginning. I updated my death counter with uh, Devdon. I forgot to update him when he died. So, there he is now. Uh, so, let's get rid of these things. Yeah, when does Ike transform? He's two levels away, so even if he were to transfer this right now, it's not a big deal. I'll have to look into that real quick before we go out of base. Um, so, Gate J actually came in handy this past chapter, that was really nice. Uh, Shinon's almost there as well. How many Master Counts do we have now? We should have two? Oh, we have three. We have three. Okay, cool. So what I could do is, for example, like give Nefany maybe just one more bonus EXP level, or even heck, maybe give her all of it, and then get her to her next class. Uh, we could also use, heck, we could probably even transform Bromerly, perhaps. Give it a Har. The only thing about Master Crowns is, uh, just like Master Seals, you can transform your characters early, but at the same time, is it really worth it? Eh, kind of. At the same time, it's not. I mean, especially for like people like Har, so close to leveling, but at the same time, my cat is. What are you doing? <laughs> my cat is looking at me like he wants my attention. <laughs> give me a sec. I have to give him attention. Okay, so uh, took care of my cat. <laughs> 
and I also looked up and to see when Ike transforms and he actually does transform the end of the part three so we actually have uh, two chapters to go so plenty of time plenty of time all right where was I where was I looking at I was just empty inventories right all right so yeah we got that physic Woo! Alright, Astrid has 1 EXP for a level. Wow, that's kind of hilarious. Of course, we're no longer going to be using her, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Alright, let's take a look at our inventories. For the most part, I think everyone's pretty much set with whatever they have. I don't really think there's many items that will, uh, you know, change what we need to do. Longbow. Who has more skill? We have 26, Shinon has 30, right? I should probably give the longbow to Shinon just in case he needs it. <laughs> and I will give the silver bow. To Rolf in case he needs it because each bow gets stronger. Alright, yeah, that's cool. So that way, uh, if Rolf needs to do a chip damage or get a kill or a heavy hit, his high strength and the silver bow combined will give him that kill. And we do want him to get up to speed with Shinon as well, so that'll be very useful. I have eight javelin left on you. Here, give this one to Gate Tree. And you're gonna put a new one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Grom is pretty much okay. Oh, wait, right. So I did not give him a sword last time. We now have a slim sword. I don't know if I want a slim sword. Hold on. What's, uh, what are we looking at here? Grom's sword is stronger than a slim sword. In fact, we can't even do slim. So that's actually kind of funny. Uh, iron sword is six. Although I think I'm E, right? I should be E. Yeah, I'm an E sword, so that's not good. Um, can we forge slim? No, we can't. So, that being said, I will have to use the slim sword for now, I suppose, since I don't really want to spend money on a bronze sword. <laughs> See, it's kind of pointless. Um, yeah, that sucks. Oh well, uh, I guess that's the way it is. So, let's do that. Some sword. There we go. So that'll be his new, for the most part, close combat weapon. Again, there is no weapon triangle, so I don't have to worry about him getting killed by lances or anything like that. Um, and I can combat other units very efficiently anyways. So I just need to use this. Oh, you know what? That means I could give him discipline. Perfect. Ta-da. <laughs> Alright, so Brahm is set. He needs healing items, though, which I probably just put away, huh? Uh, let's give him seven. He won't need a concoction, I don't think, so I think he should be good with that. Um, Har. Bunch of weapons. He's okay for now. Still. Oh, he has uh, one vulnerary. Here. He needs to need a healing, so you take that, and I'll grab another one. I even grabbed three since I tend to heal quite often. And uh, if I could use that three up, that'd be great. Um, Heather's okay. Titania's okay. Everyone else seems to be okay. Uh, Kieran, not sure if we're going to end up using him, but we'll see. Um, I will use him for the most part because we do need units still for the, for the last part uh, before we head to the tower in Benyon. So Kieran is one of those prime candidates to keep leveling up. And then Marcia, let's see. I am C swords. I might want to train a little bit of sword. So here's a steel. I might as well just use the short, short spear if I can. So that'll be fine. You're good. Um, I think that'll be it here. You can even take Oscar's weapon. Um, I don't need this. And I can use the 
last heal to miss, just because. Alright, cool. That's pretty much it. Alright, we should be good to go for this chapter. Uh, as long as we all work together, we should be fine. I... Uh, what do we have again? We have Nullify, which cancels enemy bonuses. And then Imbue, which restores HP equal to the ma uh, magic power of a unit. So, someone who would benefit from that would be... Even Shinon, he has got, he's got 7 magic. Nephany's got 7 magic as well. Titania's got 10. Heather's got 10. Not that she'll be on the front lines. So even Marcia. But she has Paragon on already. Uh, do I want to keep it on her? Probably. Probably. Uh, I do think this is the chapter we also get Sigrun and Tanith back. Or for the first time. Perhaps. I can't remember. Um, so, uh, I'll give it to Shinon, for now, since he, uh, has seven magic, so he could recover. Not to mention, he's going to get attacked a lot with his Provoke skill. And then, Nullify, honestly, I'm probably just going to give that to Ike right now. He's probably the only one who really benefits from it anyways, in the long run. How much EXP do we have? 34k bony CXP. So technically, I could transform someone like Nephany into her next class. Uh, how many do we have? We have one, two. We technically only have two, three, oh, three. Marcia, three. Two, uh, three characters that are still lower level but are most likely going to be transformed later. That's Rolf, Braum, and Marcia. Um, Shinon, Har, Titania, they're already a high. Nephany would probably be the only other character who would benefit from just using a Master Crown, but at the same time, she's in the middle. So, Har as well, I could just use bonus EXP on him to get him to 20. I could just have him fight and transform on the field. Let's do that. Let's, uh,. It's actually not that much with that four. That's only 400 bonus EXP, so yeah, why not? Let's, let's give her a level. Nice, got HP and strength, so you max out his strength. That's great. Um, it's funny how all my characters, when they use bonus EXP to level up, they always get luck. Uh, I would have preferred if he got speed or even resistance, but that's okay. Uh, overall, it looks pretty good. So, he will get his transformation by fighting, because I don't see a point using the Master Crown on him. Um, now, it depends. If I make Nephany to level 20, that's about 8,000 bony CXP. Hmm. She would benefit from it. HP, strength, luck, and defense would most likely be increased. I've already given her bonus XP thus far, right? So I've already invested a lot into her. And why not? She's pretty strong, right? But I think I'll wait a little bit longer. Um, she is low, She has 85 EXP right now, so might as well just wait it out a little bit longer. Um, Titania's here as well. So yeah, I'll save my bonus XP for now, just to see how things go for it everyone else but that's pretty much it so let's uh head out i'm gonna save real quick before my game crashes or something it is time to get moving do we have a target first we'll head for flagware 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 the fortress town between crime and banyan since the Lugu's alliance has fought in flagware already we're familiar with the lay of the land sounds like a good plan do you still resent your choice to command this army. No offense, Apostle, but you didn't give me much of a choice in the first place. Besides, if I'm not fully committed, how can I expect these troops to be? Just remember, when this is all over, you'll be getting one heck of a bill. Oh, I'm sure, and I know you'll be and I know you'll be worth it. Speaking of which, I have something for you. Consider it a down payment. I'm sure you remember this blade. It is the Holy Sword Ragnell. Please take it. 
Are you sure about this? I returned it after the Mad King's War because you said it was one of Banyan's national treasures. Indeed, the sword was used by Empress Altina, the first apostle of Banyan, back in the early days of the Empire. It was one of the two swords the Empress used to fight the Dark God. I can think of no better person to give it to. Alright, I'd be happy to use it again. Thanks. Oh, so we got Ragnell back. Alright, so all of a sudden, Ike is now a powerhouse. I did not know that. Excuse me, I bring urgent news to Queen Alencia and General Ike of the Apostles' Army. What happened? We received a report that Dan Army has appeared near the border between Dan and Crimea. The Dan Army demands custody of the Apostle on behalf of Benyon. They will use force if necessary. Dane wants to get in our hair again? Perfect. I am puzzled by this. Why does Dane support the Senate? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Ike, we must change our target. Agreed. We have to get Dane out of the, our way before we do anything else. So Dane still refuses to negotiate. Either way, either they believe the Senate, uh, Senate's lies, or the Senate is pulling some strings behind the scenes. Well, whatever the reason, we can't attack Banyan without taking care of this first. I will not give up. I won't stop sending messages, messengers until they respond. Ike, I leave you in charge here. A random Pegasus took the, <laughs> took the Apostle away. Let's keep our numbers small. We shouldn't provoke them any further. I understand. Gather will stay behind. You'll have a turn soon, Skrimir. I promise. Alright, let's go. Alright, so... Real quick. Um, we do get... We do get uh, Sigrun and Tanith, as I mentioned earlier. Level 19 Falcon Knight Sigrun. Overall, very fast, you can say. Um, her lack of strength, however, is her, down, is her downside. But overall, she has defense, she has resistance, she has luck, speed enough skill her magic is really good too again hp and strength those are her two lacking skills um she comes with a sword and s lance and that's it so overall she's a pretty strong unit pretty good flyer um you know in matter of speaking she is technically right now better than marcia and Ma you know in certain aspects obviously for example marcia has 19 strength so she's already stronger and more hp but uh, overall, I like Sigrun. By the way, very beautiful. I love my Pegasus Knights. Always very nice looking. Tanith here, level 16 Falcon Knight. She too is kind of up there as well as far as overall performance. She has 20 strength, uh, 10 magic, 21 skill, 23 speed, 22 luck, 19 defense, 20 resistance, 35 HP. Overall, I would say she's not as strong as Sigrun, but that's just a matter of perspective, of course. Um, she does come with a sword and a lance. Um, overall, pretty strong unit as well. So each flyer has their kind of like niche that makes them better than the others. But overall, I do use all of them because I do use the triangle attack to my advantage later on. So while this chapter in itself is not the best for flyers because of the fact that there are going to be ballista and archers. You can see there's a... This is a stone ballista. Actually, they're all stone ballista. I could have sworn there was a regular one. Either way, there's still archers on the field, so it's not like it's, you know, perfect. I just realized I got the nullify skill. I could give nullify to a flyer. Head on, hang on. Sorry, I, you don't need this right now. <laughs> Um, because she is lower level, oh no, she has the, uh, Paragon on, actually. Very well, we will give it to, uh, Tanith for now. Since she is lower level than Sigrun. There we go. Now she won't kill killed by archers. That works for me. Uh, as far as items, though, okay, so, we got Ragnell. Ragnell automatically gives Ike 5 defense, so all of a sudden he's a... General <laughs> with five, with 29 defense, he just like Gatry can just move into the front lines and take on fights willy nilly. Doesn't matter. So perfect. Uh, by the way, that means the Etherd and the Iron Sword are no longer needed. Um, unfortunately, I didn't use this one up. But that's okay. 
I can't sell it, so it's just an item. That's all it is. Uh, there's no point in using it because Ragno is just super strong, and there's no reason not to use it. So there's that. Uh, Sigrun. She has Silver Lance. I'll let her keep it. Steel Sword's fine. And I'll give her a Javelin. She probably won't be taking combat anyways. And then Tanith. She can kill. kill. Keep her Silver Lance as well. She'll get a Steel Sword. And I'll even give her... I need a range too, so Javelin. Is there Calvary on this map? Yes, Calvary right in front, in fact. And in the middle. And a couple at the end. Nice. We could use the Horse Slayer here. Uh, which, I guess, in that regard, I should actually give it to Marcia. Where'd she go? She's at the bottom. So why not? We'll give her the Horse Slayer that we used earlier. That way she can one-shot perhaps some of these enemies. Alright, now who are we taking? That's the next question. Again, I am using more characters than I was in previous runs. We are required to use Sigrun and Tanith, so that automatically decreases the amount of units we're using. We need a healer in Mist. Uh, do we want to train Rolf right now as well? So I mean, Shinon most likely should come in too. Not to mention the Provoke is pretty useful. Um, Probably not a chapter I need to use Har. Uh, we could steal some items, so we'll see if we need Heather. Uh, do we want, we, I do want Marcia in, though. So I get four extra units right now. Um, let me see. What do we have to steal? Let's go to the boss. Instead of looking at everybody. So the boss has a concoction. We get his bow automatically as well. So we can steal this. That would be pretty good. That's a healing item that we could use. Um, again, if we put Brahm in, he could disarm some enemies. There's a Shine Bearer, but most likely I don't even need that, so it doesn't matter to me. There's a Vulnery, right in front. Another Vulnery in the back. Another Shine Barrier, doesn't matter. Another Shine Bearer, that doesn't matter. Another Shine Bearer. Horse Slayer, in the back. We've gotta watch out for that as well, although we won't have horses, so not a big deal. We have a couple Bishops. One has a men. Oh, and this farthest one has a physic we can steal. Oh my god. Physic. Oh my goodness. I want that. Do I put in Heather though to steal it? Not to mention I steal the men. More vulnerabilities. And they are in front. So there is items throughout the map that we can steal. Oh, I feel like I gotta put Heather in. I gotta put Heather in, right? Some good items out there. Alright, Heather is in. That leaves us three. Um, I could do one, two, three. Titania and Har are out. There is a horse there, so Titania could be out. Not to mention she is a weaker unit. And then Har, he's already level 20. I don't really need to use him here. So I could leave him out. And then there's Kieran. Um, okay, well... I think this is the crew to go with. Again, I, I think there's too many items to not use Heather. So, this is good. I have Tree in front, Nephany and Brom as well to form that wall up here, right in front. Perfect. Um, as far as the celerity actually is concerned, I think it doesn't matter actually. Brom can keep it for now. Because again, I, I would like, like for example, Marcia, but she can't have both uh, Paragon and Celerity, so that doesn't matter. So she needs to go in, fly in, kill, fly in, kill, and then there's this. Okay, cool. So that's what, that's how we're gonna do it. I hope this is a good setup, though. I cannot believe this. It's an army of subhumans in Bjork. It must be true that this apostle is fake. A true apostle would never join forces with those filthy creatures. The enemy has sent a messenger once again. Commander, this is the third time they've asked to negotiate. Ignore the messengers. We must protect this bridge. That is the order from the Maiden of Dawn. Alright. Um, 
Let's see. How do I want to start? <laughs> I don't think I will double any of these guys, right? They're all in the 20-ish speed area. Uh, I could double a couple of them. I will definitely double them. So, Brom and Gaetri will most likely be the front guys who will be attacked. Um, thinking about this bridge, there's pitfalls, so we do need to watch out. I think there is also an eventuality that there will be pitfalls that block all of our infantry from getting across. So, probably... See, like, right, th right here, how these guys are like this? These two spaces are probably pitfalls, and therefore, if I trigger those, I will not be able to get my infantry across. Same thing for, like, right here, perhaps. I don't know entirely where all the pitfalls are. So, we have to keep that in mind where we move our units. If we put a flyer above those pitfalls, uh, our infantry can traverse the pitfalls and get across the bridge. But I do believe that there is a section somewhere in this map, if not more, that will prevent us from getting our infantry across in entirely. I mean, the only way to get them across would be to fly them across, which we cannot pick up Gaytree and uh, Brom, I believe, because they are way too heavy. Never mind, we can pick up Brom. But we cannot pick up Gaytree. Why? 23 weight. 21 weight. That is quite interesting. Okay, never mind. Gaytree would be the only one who couldn't, who couldn't get picked up. Including horses, probably. So, I guess that doesn't matter in the end. Alright, let's move forward. Enough talking. Like I said, Gaytree and Ike... Or, Gaytree and Braum will most likely be the ones attacked, so... We'll see how this goes. So we will put them right in front. Hopefully they attack Brom because he is uh, much weaker, level-wise. They'd be stupid to attack Ike since he has a uh, Ragnar out. What's my uh, what ability is 98? Oh, well, they're pretty good right now, huh? Of course, Nephany's going down. In any case, we'll just leave it like that. So, there's no one who can really get to us right now, not to mention there's no archers in the beginning. So, we should be able to just move in with our flyers as well. There's no ballista in the middle, right? That I missed? No. Okay, cool. Um, if I can, I want to transform Renolf at his best. That way we don't have to use half shift, but if we need to use him, we will. We'll see how things go to start. I did not give you the physic we stole. That was stupid. <laughs> Alright. Well, we'll see how things go. I'm not using a physic this map. That was pretty stupid of me. Alright, Brom, go get him with your slim sword. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is stupid. Hello. Do you dare attack me? No, so it looks like they do want to attack Brom, because he is the weakest here of the three, probably. And he probably does the least amount of damage too. <laughs> Which is great, because I want the discipline training. Let's get that sword rank to a D so I can use an iron sword. C so I can use steel sword. And so on, so forth. Because if anything, Brom could be my sword user for the rest of the game. Because I have no sword users. There's nice chip damage here and there. Uh, there is a clear turn bonus of 10 turns, which there's just... Oh, that is so weird. <laughs> uh, which is not going to happen. Hey, don't use that physic. Oh no, that's one I can't steal, huh? Oh yeah, this one I can't steal. So yeah, there's a clear tone bonus of 10. We're already on turn 2. There's no way we're getting through all this without horror in the field. I mean, look at that. There's just no way. Oh! I forgot. Tabar and Leanne come in. They come in somewhere right here. We do have to rush a little bit. Crying. I forgot about them. So there should be a pitfall somewhere right here. If not multiple. Um... So that's something we need to keep in mind. Okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. 
what items can steal? Not these guys. So, the sword masters, right? They had vulnerabilities. And considering this guy didn't move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he could have attacked. So there is a pitfall there somewhere. Let's see if Shinon can find any. Probably not, right? Yeah, so there doesn't seem to be any in this beginning section. Which makes things really nice for us to start. We just move in with all of our units. See that my Ike will just destroy whoever he comes into com combat with because he is now super strong with Ragnar. He can kill you with Dietrich, so why not? Let's do that. We'd like Marcy to get a kill this turn though, so let's see if we can set up a kill with someone else. Maybe my other flyers can help her. There's a mage here though, we do need to watch out. That is an L fire heavy 28 attack. Holy crap. Okay. If I put Niffany there, um, I do have a lot of void ability. I could be fine. We trap this guy inside. <laughs> Niffany should be fine there. Okay, why'd you guys show up so fast? Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. I had a little thing back at camp that I had to deal with. No problem, Tabarn. What kind of thing? Oh, and hey, where's Rayson? He was exhausted, but he insisted on coming with me. I had to tie him down to my bed to keep him there. Really? Nah, I'm just kidding. He passed out earlier, so I have a different anchor slowing me down this time. No, oh, what the heck? Leanne? Oh, I, um... I will fight, yes? She's racing sister for sure. This girl is stubborn as she is. Listen up, young lady. You herons are supposed to be more like Raphael. Quiet and graceful and all that. Don't mind don't mind Tavarn, Leanne. We're honored to have you here. I am not. What you can't even fly over. Ike, Renolf, Sigrun, Tanith, or Tabarn dies. Those are the requirements. Leanne's gonna die. There is nothing I can do to save her. There is nothing I can do to get to her. There's no way. The only one who could... Yeah, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> there's nothing I can do. She has 67 avoidability. Most of these enemies have way more hit than that, so yeah, there, there is absolutely nothing I can do. The only option is if Tabarn and these other guys actually kill these guys here and she somehow... She, she, heck, she's a one-shot. She's a one-shot to everything but the mage. In which the mage will dump her anyways. She's dead. <laughs> she's dead. There's nothing I can do. She can't even fly away. Great, fantastic. Um, the only other option is to put Sigrun right here and then rescue. Which, if I rescue, I'll get Sigrun killed. And or Tanith. That is, it doesn't matter. The other option is to somehow kill this guy, and then she flies through. Which, I don't think Tanith and Sigrun can do that. Can you kill this guy by yourself? No. With help? Maybe? 
Uh, it would have to be Renolf. Eight plus, uh, what is that? 21? That's 29. So you do eight damage twice. Oh, not even, huh? I don't double. Wow, that's so bad. And then I do eight. Yeah, there is no way. Like I said, I don't even think Tanith and Sigrun can even kill this guy. There is no way. Okay, so Leanne's dead. I... Unless, unless for some reason the enemy does not want to attack her. There is nothing I can do. Oh, you know what? Can we kill the mage? I can't even kill the mage. Oh my god! <laughs> can you kill the mage? Yes. If we can kill the mage, Leanne can actually uh, revitalize Sigrun and she can get her out of there. Okay, you know what? That works. This chapter is way too brutal. Not to mention, I can actually fly across too. That's okay. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, well, there's that. So, that being said, I can use Tanith to help here and get Marcia to kill. Ike, that means you kill this farther one, perhaps. Well, maybe not. Actually, you don't have to, because, uh, Tanith could block the pathway. So that's 10. 11, so that's 21. Yep, totally fine. Plus, I got miss, I can heal with two. Alright, so that is down to 21. Is that a kill for you, for sure? Uh, could be better. We do have the Horse Slayer. That I could have just used. I totally forgot I even had that. What is that? 12, or 13? Still not enough. My god. Ah, just, just, just do it. Just do it. Alright, cool. A lot of EXP. Lovely. <laughs> Alright, miss heal here. Since Renolf is a requirement, I'm going to keep him in the back for now since he's not transformed. Uh, let's move you up a little bit here. If the enemies want to attack me, feel free to do so. Nice, Tabarn helped my wall. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Why are they attacking the general? I really don't know. Probably because they could double him, I guess. I think it would have been beneficial if they attacked a one of the paladins. Should not provoke the guy. Just fine. So that pathway that Cavalier just took through the mage, that's an open pathway we can take with our ground troops. That's nice to know. So far, it doesn't look like there's any uh, pitfalls, except for on the very bottom of the map. So I am not in range of those sword masters, so I can't steal their vulnerabilities. That guy used the shine bear. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look, the guy's rescuing the guy right next to him. How stupid is that? That is idiotic. Why is that even a thing? If anything, they should have rescued one of the paladins. 
That is so stupid. This mage also did not move, oddly enough, so interesting. Yeah, you guys didn't have it, so shove. Put me one range away. I actually don't need a heal, but I would prefer to heal. Fulnerers are important though. Shinon, shove me. Alright, let's go steal one. What? What? The one pitfall in this first part, and you're telling me I found it. Oh, that's so stupid. Okay. We are not getting vulnerabilities. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. That's annoying. That was annoying. <sighs> and the bird is in my way, so I can't uh, just walk through. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding. High 80 and I missed. What was it, 89? <sighs> what a joke. What a joke. Okay, Ike, you do it then. Yeesh. What the heck is this world coming to right now? Okay, that's so dumb. Alright, Rolf. One strong hit, right? Perfect. Marcia can get this kill. Wow, still don't have enough. That's crazy. Alright, level up for Marcia. It's a good one, thank you very much. I like that strength. Okay, this guy. I can just kill him with Nephany. Just get him over with. Uh, the other knights and stuff didn't move, so I'm pretty sure that means there's probably a pitfall on the other side of this barricade. One luck. Should have used Bony CXP. That's a big fail. Um, that Swordmaster is out of range, or it is putting me out of range of my support, which is not good. That sucks. So I guess I'll go right here and kill him. I'll just have uh, the units halt where they are. Unfortunately, that front one will most likely die then because of that. But I need to keep that wall up because I don't want them just the enemies just squeezing by and maybe even attacking and miss. And I know Tabar won't die. Oh my god, all because Gatry missed. This is why I don't want to use him. Terrible unit. For the norm, they probably will attack the Phoenician because he is weaker, in a matter of speaking. Oh, nope. Decided to attack me. I don't know why. I don't have my Slim Sword out. I'm not getting the training. The mage put the Shine Bearer in front of him. My goodness. And look, the guy's rescuing the Paladin again. A few couple steps away. It's so stupid. I don't know what they're doing. It's so dumb. I know the enemy doesn't want to trigger... The, the pitfalls, but it's so weird how they're moving. Okay. Who's that? Can you kill him? No, I'm too weak. Great. Ugh, no one is fighting to their potential right now. I could kill with Oh no, I can't kill him. Oh my god. Very well. I'm just gonna throw Braum in there then. 25 luck. This guy's got 19 crits, so I'm not afraid of him. Not to mention he probably won't even be able to attack me anyways. Yeah. I can't even damage you. Okay, I need you nip me. What you got? You got the physic. You got nothing now. You got the men, okay. I can't kill you either? Oh my goodness. I would need Braum support to kill him. 
Fine. Rom, you attack first. Here you go. Get sword training. Chink! <laughs> Yay. Now you kill him. What? It wasn't enough. Miscalculated. Again. And he will just heal that. So it doesn't matter. Oh my god. Oi, boy, oi, oi, oi. I am just not on my game right now. That's for sure. Okay. Heather can't do anything. No vulnerabilities left to steal here. Disappointing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fly a little closer and use Leanne. It's fine, whatever. Hey, right, kill the mage. I should realize I didn't kill him in one shot. Ow. Four, five, six. Perfect. Not perfect in the sense that I can't actually kill him. I double, right? Oh, wait. I don't kill him, so that's actually fine. You do that. Stephanie's there, she's safe, or the end safe from dying, so I don't need to worry about that. Alright. Can't guarantee the kill. On either one. What? Try anyway. Alright, that takes care of the physic, dude. So I don't want to keep fighting an enemy forever. Decent level again. I'll take it. Let's weaken this guy a little bit as well. And I will finish by healing Ike because he took a hit. And then everyone else can just kind of stand by. Alright, Renolf has maximum sh gauge. They're halted, so that's fine. You get out of the hole. <laughs> the hole that I just happened to find. I can't believe that my luck so far. I didn't steal a single thing yet. Disarm him! I'm actually surprised I doubled him too. Brown levels up. One luck. Wow, that was a really bad level. Hello, Ballista can reach me. Got it. Doing one damage to each of us. Got it. What is that range? I'm assuming starts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. If it was ten, it would have hit right here. Oh, maybe he didn't want to kill this guy though. Probably. That's probably what it was. Okay. Understandable. <laughs> Try 
try. Shine bears are kind of annoying. They do eventually go away. I missed twice. Wow. That is crazy. Nice speed. I need eight damage. I mean, you destroy him, so that's not good. Okay. <laughs> or I could just use Nephany three times or twice. I think I'll do that then. Why not? You dodge. That being said, I'll use tenth right here then. No, probably not. Eh, why not? Who cares? I'll trigger him to move or something, I don't know. One shot. He's still great, Lance. Dead. And this can go right here to heal. We'll now see if that uh, Ballista can shoot where Gaytree is currently standing. Hey, Jay, as long as I'm here, I'm willing to let you die. There's too much riding on your survival. Stay close. I know, I know. I'm the picture of durability. I won't let you down. And you can continue to attack this guy. Disarm him. If we disarm him, we can actually pick up that short spear with Heather. You had nothing, right? Disarming, Brom. You can do it! No, he still fired on Brom, and which still hits his unit, so he can't shoot Gaytree. That's nine spaces on Brom. Very odd. Usually most things like that would have ten range, but that archer does not. Is there a reason for that? Nothing here that I can see. Quite interesting. Alright, uh, this guy is kind of in the way. So, how do we get around? Well, there's probably pitfalls throughout this entire section. One, two, three, perhaps? This Shine Bear is probably a fourth one in which uh, a flyer can probably go over it, you know, these sections here. But again, there's probably going to be archers soon, so... Interesting. We will most, nice, most likely need to use our flyers now at this point. Since Tanith has nullify, we will probably set her up to do it then. I'll place her right here.
So is that one, two, three, four, five, six? I have nine, right? Yeah, so I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could run back. We can pretty much kill him. Let's get rid of him. He's a thunder mage. I don't want to have to deal with mages if I can't help it. And I don't care that it's Tanth that I'm using. As long as he's dead. So that's something that won't scare me now. Because I know there's probably going to be pitfalls here. Which is why these guys aren't charging. This guy is in my way, so... Daytree! There is no pitfalls here. Why didn't these guys move in? I don't know. Uh, that being said, then, how about Ike? Kill the general. I'm not going to use Braum to move into that space above Ike, or to the right of Ike. If there are pitfalls there, then, uh, we will, uh, not have to worry. As expected, there it is. So, Nephany go right here to give support. And then we will see what else is happening. This bishop's been moving up and down, so this one's not a pitfall, for sure. Although, I don't know why this guy hasn't moved. That means these two have to be pitfalls, right? Have to. Healing. Might as well heal the bird. Keep running off in the back for now. I should be safe right here as well, so that's good. Renolf can stay in the back for now, so no worries there. Oh, I'm t I'm stunned entirely. I did not realize that. I should have realized that because I haven't used him to this, or I have fell into a pitfall already. So, oops. Ah. Does that mean everyone's going to attack? I'm pretty sure that means we should not provoke that one. <laughs> the mages did not move. Okay, that's actually good, because I think I would have actually died. Because I don't think you can dodge while in a pitfall. Alright, well, I got Brahm across. <laughs> Granted, he is damaged, so that's not good. So if I want to get across here, I would need to use my flyers. Tenneth. She should be fine. Um. Yeah, it's fine. Hello. There's a pitfall there. There should be okay. Does that mean there's a pitfall here? I can't move over there anyways. Shoot. That means Ike's in trouble. Because I don't know how many people actually move. This guy has way too much HP. What the heck? You have the longbow. I just need to hit once. hit twice, so that's actually good. Okay, so I need to use Sigrun and Marcia to get over there. I need Marcia to kill, so I need her here. The end can't reach, so... I can move back one. I also need Sigrun, so I need Sigrun here. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll be fine. So you go there. And you go here. Oh, these pit see this this is why this chapter is going to take my whole video here, is because these pitfalls are just slow going. I don't know where they are. I don't know how they're gonna change you know how things are 
how the battle goes, and all that. Okay, you're dead. I'm assuming there's a pitfall right next to you, which is why these guys probably haven't attacked me thus far. I will keep Rom right here. You guys want to attack me? Feel free to do so. I have 100 avoidability now. So come at me, fools. I guess I'll just move you this way. Yeah, there, not much I can do now. The shine barrier disappeared, I just realized that. How convenient of him. I don't understand the ballista fire. Alright. Alright, let's see. Alright, so there's a pitfall here, because they didn't move in to attack me. So let's see, if, let's just kill this guy with Marcia. And with that, I can go right where the bishop is standing, um, and be able to uh, keep moving forward with my ground troops. Ugh. So put you here. You can heal with Tan if in front, since she has nullify, she'll be okay. And that means Gaytree, you're perfect to go right here. Let's see if anyone decides to attack you. As for you guys... Next question, is there a pitfall right here somewhere? Hmm. Maybe I should just use Ike here. Just in case. Since we're, my units are getting crowded with the narrow pathways. I have no idea where all the pitfalls are. So. Let us see. Anthony can go right here. He cannot kill. So let's test and see if Braum can get in there. He can. Perfect. I can hit hard. Never gonna get the kill. Or I can use Nefany first, and then Brom can get the kill. And Brom's lower level, so let's do it that way. Plus, Nefany shouldn't be in any danger since there's pitfalls everywhere. I'm gonna get annoyed with myself saying that over and over again. Heal here. We'll move Mist up and heal Rolf as well. Even if she gets hit by the Ballista, she can recover it all. Unless Ballista have, uh, what's it called? Crit rates, which I highly doubt they do. We should be fine. Granted, the Ballista should fire at the top guys since there are so many of them there. See, I don't want this bishop running away on me, so let's put you there, and let's put Heather here. <laughs> so that should be fine. The soldier was here, so I can move you up. Alright, so far so good.
No one moved up. Oh my god. Okay, that has to mean there are pitfalls along this entire road. There has to be. It has to mean that because there's no reason for them not to approach me. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Um, what can in the end move? Uh, she can move her shin on it, that's our maximum. This guy is out of ballista, so that's good. So I don't want to keep risking my flyers. For example, if I put Gaytree there, he's going to get destroyed by the mage, probably. And then anyone else is going to attack him as well. And I don't know how these guys move either. We have to use my mages to uh, attack. Or my uh, Pegasus to attack. Man, I do not like this at all. Holy crap. This is dangerously scary stuff here. Okay. All of this right here is safe. Alright. That being said, I'm just going to walk up slowly. Ta-da! That's our range. How about here? That's safe too. Okay. What about... Again, if Gaytree dies, not the biggest loss for me. I can move here. Okay. Well, here. Here. Okay. Strange. <laughs> don't know what's don't know what's happening. Ike, can you kill this guy? I don't know what's happening here. You guys are just scaring me. One speed. Wow, my Ike levels like the best Ike in the world. Trash. Here. All right, so I'm just gonna heal them since the ballista is out. gets to have fun killing this guy. Alright. Well. One, two, th see. I don't know. Don't want to put you in range anyways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I'm fine to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll go right here. For now. Right. I don't think I tested all the movement here. Oh, but I could go right here. Never mind, doesn't matter. Where's Shinon? He's right there. Okay, so you're fine there as well. Alright. Yeah, let's see what happens now on this turn. Mage moved up. Thankfully, he attacked Nephany. She has max resistance, so wouldn't do as much damage. This guy moved up, so there is no uh, pitfall in front of us. Very weird. Very weird. Why did the other soldiers not move? I guess they're just stationary soldiers. I don't know why. Hit him hard. Yeah. Level up for Gate Tree. 30 defense. Wow, superb level. Now the other ballista is coming to play. Which is fine, because it's only Ike and Gaytree who take one damage each. Okay. This is turn 10, by the way. Uh, this is the clear bonus turn. No way we would have made to the boss. Even if I was rushing. Ah, uh, there's gotta be pitfalls in front of these guys. Guaranteed. So what we will do is, I can double, right? I cannot. Sigrun can. 24, right? Yep, Sigrun can. Marcia can. Some maximum range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. 
can't kill you? Oh my god. Crazy. Nice dodge. Thank you. I give her these weaker weapons. She can't kill a thing. It's crazy. It's not like they're that. It's a mage. You shouldn't have that much defense and HP. Should be able to double by now. Alright, Leanne levels up. Probably shouldn't have made her so close to the enemy, but that's okay. Goodbye. Not oh, so much for stealing items. I haven't had the chance to do that. I just realized I killed the other bishop with the men, so I didn't get the men either. The only thing I'm going to be stealing is this physic in the concoction so far. So sad. So sad. Oh god, there's a hammer out there. Woo! I forgot these are wind mages, so they are actually good against my flyers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, there has to be a reason they're not moving up, right? God, this is scary risk. Rishon! Shoot on this guy. I like how he keeps hitting twice. Just using the long blow up. Like crazy, right? Alright, one mage down. Don't know what else to expect, so... We'll hang tight. I'm assuming there's pitfalls here, so we need to clear out this guy first. I can do that, no problem. Why did I get... I was about to say this is why I gave Rolf the uh, silver bow. That wasn't the reason though. Yay, 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 yay. Hits. Thank you. Really? Uh. Alright. The wrong people are getting the kills right now. It's very upsetting. No choice but to attack somebody, so that's fine. Why shoot there? Odd. No one moved again. Oh my god, I hate this chapter. I cannot kill this guy now. What are the chances I'm going to hit a pitfall? I 
did not. Alright, just get rid of the mages. Thank you, Shannon. I love it. I don't care. They are annoying, because I never know if they're just going to come out and slice my flyers in half. Alright, this guy. Should I keep feeding Marcia kills? Probably. Maybe. Heather can probably get the kill. I... Ugh. Never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. Right here is his maximum movement. Uh, considering that these guys are all physical users, I will actually use Brahma over here. Let's test and see. I was right. There is a pitfall. Totally fine with that. I don't care. Yeah, Marcia, come get this kill real quick. Swear if you missed twice. <laughs> cool, good level. Nice, look at this. Beautiful. Alright. Ike, can you kill this guy? No. That's actually perfect then. Hit him. And then, uh, we'll kill him with Rolf. Gate tree. Move up all the way. Okay, so good. There's nothing in our way. It's actually fine. Um, here, we'll just jab him out. So Ralph will get the kill. And if me go next to Grom so you can give him support. And everyone else can chill for now, I suppose. I believe we should be able to transfer him out on the next turn. Maybe. Bowgun moves up. He has a pathway that we saw we can take. Cavalier moved up as well. It's good that I put my javelin out. <laughs> Hit you guys. Ballista's firing, which is fine. We need to use the ballistas up anyways. Wyvern moves up, alright. Oh, I forgot he's the hammer, dude. Whoo, shit. Good thing he was the only one. <laughs> I totally forgot the hammer guy. Oh my goodness, I could have died. I could have died, everybody. Holy crap. Woo, okay. Wow, that was a close one. Haha. <laughs> alright. I can't go this way. <laughs> this has to be a pitfall. I'm gonna take the chance anyways. I got out. <laughs> Sweet. Sorry, level up to D. Yeah. Even with a hammer, this guy hits hard with a hit rate. That's crazy. 
Normally, if you're using a hammer, you have, like, no hit rate. If I move, Brombo loses support, but I don't think he's in any danger at this time, so we should be fine to do that. I am at my worst, and yet this guy is even worse. Okay, interesting. That physic would have came in handy right here. So, that being said, I will have to retreat. Well, I guess I technically don't have to. I'll just put you right here and heal. This should be enough to get me through this part. It will kill you, though, because you are way too dangerous to keep alive. And I'll move Nephany over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just keep feeding kills to Marcia. While she has the Paragon. Then I'll take it off. So it's actually kind of good that she's the one getting kills. Move in and out. No problem. Uh, I do believe this Blista has two shots, yeah. So I need to get you to safety for this turn. I do believe she will die if she gets hit by the thing, maybe, I don't know. I remember something like that happening to me once. That's why I'm thinking that it can happen. Yeah, use that. Oh, no. I don't do damage now because I moved Nephany away. Haha, <laughs> I knew that. Totally fine though, not a big deal. Again, the biggest thing is he's trying to train his, uh, his sword rank, so as long as he hits the enemy, that's all that matters. Man, this is taking a long time. I already spent an hour on the bridge itself, the battle itself. I know I started like 30 minutes into the game, or uh, the video. Oh my god, I hate this chapter so much. I know there's some Fire Emblem fanatics out there, you guys never know where all the pitfalls are. I'm doing this blind, so that's why I'm taking so long. What do we got? Steel Axe, Steel Axe. Okay, not too bad. These guys had a pathway here. I don't know why they are not moving in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they couldn't attack me. They're like waiting for me to be like at my weakest point, and then they're going to strike when I'm down. It's like, ugh. Oh, frick. Uh, yeah. There's that. Nephany is without a partner. Oh, I really wish I had that physic, man. I really screwed myself without not not getting it, you know. Ah! God dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. He, 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 I, uh, Ike's in range, so I need to get him to safety. move twice even though I'm stunned. No, I cannot move. I am stunned. Okay, just checking. This thing has one more shot as well. 
Now that I'm transformed, I should be okay regardless. Um, I killed. I gotta kill these wyverns though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Heather needs to move. Ooh, you got a Volner I can steal. But again, I risk uh, getting killed myself. That's okay. I should be fine. They didn't move up to this point, so. Okay, so. Let me go in and kill this guy for me. Besides, I have. Sh oh, no, I did not put Shade back on. Ooh. Probably should have did that. Hey, nice. Maybe the time to get Renolf in there. A depth. I think Heather should be fine anyways. If she's not, then oops. I'm gonna confirm this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You don't have not to have range. You cannot go around. It's fine. Okay. I hate this chapter. Oh, okay, attacking Brom who can't attack back. That's kind of interesting because he's very defensive. My Heather does not have her shade, right? So he should have attacked her. Probably would have did massive damage to her, no less. Yep, it's very weird stuff here. Kill this guy. If I move Brom back, he's gonna fall into the pit hole. I know it. But we are gonna try. Hey, I made it out. Okay, cool. Just making sure I can move out. Alright, so Heather, you're done for now, so get back here. I don't know why they're not moving up. These units should have moved up. Really don't understand. I'll still take it nice and slow. Now that Renault's here, we can actually put him like right here. Miss levels up, level 14. Definitely getting a lot of healing. What a great level. My flyers can't do anything this turn, so just keep you in the back. Kill you. RC will move up just a tiny bit. And then Brahma will be right next to her as well. And Nephany can just sit still for now. Now what? Mage moved in, okay. I forgot he could probably crit Renolf, which would have killed him. And again, Renolf's a game over if he died. But, I have faith in my trusty old cat, because he's strong, and very reliable. If anything, his job is to just see what pathways the enemies are taking and draw them in. As we can see, we're drawing all these guys in, which is 
perfect because the sooner we kill them, the sooner we get to the boss, the sooner we can end this chapter because this is getting tiring. The archer did not move. The ones behind the general. That is very odd. Why? I don't know. I guess this guy is stationary. He can clearly move right here. So very weird, man. arm. <laughs> it's always wishful thinking. I just realized that it's a bow paladin to the beneath Grom. So I definitely want to try and kill him. Oh! The horrid level. I guess it's fine since you have max stats, but still. Uh, I can kill him with Ike. That's fine. Adept. I never get adept with the silver bow. It dodge. I don't suppose Heather can get the kill. <laughs> that was wishful thinking, though. Got the horse slayer. Alright, these have to be pit- oh no, this one's not pitfall because he was- they've been moving through it, duh. See, I should be fine to do all this. I'll use my javelin up. I could sh- oh no, I could shove my guys away. Okay. I'm gonna shove you away so that way you don't provoke them. Oh no, it doesn't matter because it doesn't- yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, just FYI, there's no hidden treasures on this map, if I didn't mention that earlier. So, yeah, I don't need to worry about finding anything. My objective is just to get to the boss. I 
forgot about that one. <laughs> There's another one. Hooray! So annoying. I'm actually surprised they're not archer ballistas with arrows. That would have made this a lot harder, that's for sure, though. So I'm thankful that there isn't, but definitely would have helped them kill me. Where's Link? Test. Perfect. Kill him. I'm tired of this. Give me, give me out of here. I want to finish this. I. This is gonna be. This is gonna end up being two-hour video. One chapter alone is a two-hour video. Can you believe that? Unreal. Crit. Thank you. Just want to end this. By chance, can you kill him? Yes. And no. Yes. Half damage. Alright, I need to somehow do half damage. I can do half damage. We got Thunder Mage. We gotta watch out for him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't reach us. Perfect. We could go right here. Marcy can get this kill. So we can actually transform Marcia on this chapter. That'll actually be very nice. So we have still one more shot. We go there. We go there. And we go here and heal. And then I could use uh, Leanne to move us again. Move you up. Man, I hate this so much. How much damage do you do to this guy? 11, I do a little bit. I could just sit here and just fight this guy. <laughs> and train Marcia's sword while I'm at it. I think I'll do that. Why not? Because he's just going to sit there. Might as well. You need to double check and make sure that... Leanne is safe from the ballista. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just out of range, I believe. So that's fine. So. No damage, sucker. And the archer doesn't want to shoot anymore. I don't know if he's out of ammo or if he just doesn't want to shoot. There's a Thunder Mage. I am out of its range, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I'm in minimum range right now. 
Nephany would probably be the only one to survive. He has 24 crit though. So actually, Brom would have to take it because he can survive a crit. Or he can't get critted, rather, I should say. Okay, so Brom, you move up then. Although, if they both attack me, that's a lot of magic coming at me. That could be bad, and I'm not at my best either. Fun. I love being weak. Alright, you kill this guy. I'll have Bra move in with right here. With Nathan support. Shinon. Could maybe track these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of range. So everyone else is out of range too. So yeah, if I move Shinon right, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He should attract the Ballista Fire. Heck, maybe even the Archer. Heck, you know what? I'm gonna unequip him. Bam! I'll be like that. Now they shouldn't go after me. Or they should, rather, go after me. As I thought, the guy does move and attack me. Ouch. Hope Brown will be okay from that Thunder Mage. I should be, because he's the only one who can attack and I can't get crit, right? So, I guess I'm good. The other guys are moving too. Ooh! That hurt. Alright, so everyone is moving now. Okay, that's actually good, because that means they are all coming to me and I can fight them. Alright, so, what do I do? See, I wish I had the physic, I could heal right now. I, I don't think anyone can one-shot this guy right now, so I just gotta take the chance and kill him. Don't, don't hit me, please. Yeah, good job, Nephany. I gotta leave the bishop alive for Heather to steal the physics, so I gotta keep that in mind. God, slim sword is so weak. Ike, kill one of these guys for me. Move up. You kill the steel poleaxe who is at his best, no less. Look at that. Deadly man. Very dangerous. And yeah, I level up to 19 as well, or 20. So there we go. We got Ike's level 20. Here's my level 20 Ike. Not bad. I wish I had more luck and resistance, honestly. That's kind of scary that I don't have as much luck. Um, I can, Ike can still be critted to death. That is what's bad about this right now. So you can move up. The Archer, I don't know, maybe not. We'll see. If I do 16, well, I guess that has to be a guaranteed hit, right? So maybe I shouldn't do that. Let me hit you here. I don't think I have 100. No, I'm at my worst right now, so that would have worked out. But I could use you. And then I can move Brahm in front. Or Shinon. I could use Shinon too, actually. Ugh! Didn't get strength. But, max speed.
Try the killer bow. Get a crit. No crit. This guy is actually quite strong, my goodness. Uh, I do need to heal with Braum because that bishop has enough attack to kill me. So we will probably need my flyers here to assist. I'm gonna leave that guy. The bishop might heal him, but that's okay. Screw it. Screw it. I could use Renolf, but maybe that might be too risky. Sigrun's faster, so I'm gonna put her here. Watch the general suddenly move, that'd be funny. Dang, these guys are strong, I will say that. There's no way I can actually kill the uh, archer. Alright, you know what, maybe I just have to use Braum here. Yeah, I don't think I have a choice actually. I do not have a concoction. That's okay. I'll go right there. Fulnery. Alright, so that didn't go as planned. The oh shit, I just left uh, Heather open. Oops, I just left Heather open to die. Oh boy. Not good. Aha! I wasted that. Big time. Ay, 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 ay. Why did I do that? Unless we kill this guy... Nice dodge. Sigrun just keeps dodging, it's amazing. I don't like my hit rates here. I have to do it though, right? Please hit Marcia, please. Thank you. Alright, so a lower chance of her actually dying, but Heather can still die right now. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I really screwed that one up. Braum gets attacked, oddly enough. Frick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, frick. What? Hey! That guy did five damage all the other times. Excuse me? What happened? Hey, what the hell? Why'd you do six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was out of range of the... I was out of range of the, uh, Halberia. How did this guy do six damage? Mother, forgive me. I lied. I stole. And this is my punishment. That made no sense. Nope. That made zero sense. 
22 attack, same as the other ballistas, but this one did 6 damage to me. Why? I need to go back. I need to go back and see this replay. Um, that shouldn't have happened. I should have survived with 1 HP. That... That really bugs me. So now I just did this- I, sur I let this guy survive for nothing. This guy is the reason why I died in the first place, because I risked Braum in the first place to draw them in. So now I just wasted my time because this guy decided to cheat me. I was gonna say, and I was thinking it, maybe Shinnok can provoke these guys, but of course the archer is in my way. Granted, Provoke is not 100%, and the archer did not go after Shinon, so... That really bugs me. I am so upset right now. You guys have no idea. That should not have killed me. It hadn't killed me this far. Kill the stupid-ass religious. So freaking bugs me, man. Absolutely no reason that should have killed me. I mean, I, yes, I risked it too. I, I don't deny that. I screwed up for sure, but that should not have killed me. I can come back for you. Um, how much damage do you do to this guy? So I do have a good damage ratio. God, I'm so upset right now. You guys have no idea how upset I am right now. <laughs> Can't kill this guy with anyone else. Wow. These archers are way overpowered. Way overpowered. This is why I hate this stupid chapter. I hate Ballista. You never know what the heck they're gonna do. And this one guy had one damage boost for no reason. I don't know why. I really don't know why he did. Uh, boss will not move, so I don't have to worry about him killing me. I'm just gonna murder. Frick you, dude. Frick you. So upset, dude. Last general also does not move. I do not know if I kill him or not, if he if he will level me, so I will go all the way. Seems like a waste to get the kill to her, but so fed up with this. Alright. Um, like I said, there's no treasure, so I'll just move up and get ready to finish this stupid thing.
It did not. Okay, so that's what I thought. It was not even close. That's weird that the kill hardly gave me any EXP. So that being said... We'll just... Fly over. I do want to get Marseille her transformation before we go on to the next chapter, so um, she will help me kill this general as well. And I cannot risk Ike doing it because I know he probably will. <laughs> from range. Yes, we can. They gave me 6 EXP. I need to attack him twice still. Oh, I'm depressed. If you guys couldn't tell. Probably get the double healing for miss. I'm being lazy as hell right now. I'm so depressed. All right, the first transformation to their final class is Marcia. Let's see what happens. Even I don't know if stat bonuses, no bonuses change. Overall, looks really good. So she is now a Seraph Knight. You guys can see her stat bars and her max cap stats as well. Very close, in fact, to almost all of them. Except for luck, of course. So that actually is really strong. Her sword is B, Lance is S now. She gets the skill Stun, so that's nice. Overall, yay, strong flyer. Let's keep uh, let's keep going with Brom. Um, now that I lost Heather, I need to make sure I have chest keys for the future. Dang, I really thought this slim sword would get me closer to a C sword, but apparently not. I still have a long way to go. In fact. Kinda of disappointing. Level up for Brom, what, 15? 16. One luck. Pathetic. See, now all of a sudden my Brom is starting to level like crap too. He was doing really well, and now he's leveling like absolute shit. Heels. So I gotta use my men now. I'm actually surprised that this general, even though he is stationary, he didn't move to get uh, the concoction from the boss to heal. I would think that normally they would move, 
Uh, I'll just save Nephi for bonus EXP. Where's Rolf? 15's not there. You're not there. You can't do damage, right? Yeah, okay, so Braum. Let's get the kill. Alright, now as far as the boss is concerned, um... I could just use Gate Tree. Or Nefini. Oh, I want Nefini to bonus CXP, so I can't. So, yeah. Brom or Gate Tree. I guess I'll just keep using Brom then. It's only logical, right? Yeah, whatever. Followers of the False Apostle, bow down to the miracles of our Savior. As long as the Maiden of Dawn watches over us, we cannot be defeated. Whatever. Shut up. I do believe that is uses that we cannot get back. So that sucks. In the end. Whatever, I don't care anymore. So depressed about this. I need to look at this replay. You guys can see it. You guys can see if Heather took a hit before and how much damage it really did. Am I wrong? I don't know. Obviously you guys can't tell me because I'm doing this in a video. It is not live, so... I will not know if that was accurate or not. But up until that point, she was taking 5 damage from the other ballistas. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Just kill him with Braum. I don't know, will this level- Yeah, now I disarm him in the last shot. My death means nothing. The Medium of Dawn will bring us- Will bring victory to Dan. Do we level up? I don't think so, right? Oh, we do. Nice. Level 17. 3 stats. Awesome. Okay, well- there we go, max defense Braum. My luck is right there. My strength is there as well, but not really. Overall, it's, it's better than Gaytree because his caps out at 27, I, mine does not. So, overall, it's great. I should have had Sigrun up here too, so she could support with these two. I, I, um, whatever, I don't care about sports. All right. Uh, there's no treasures, that's it, whatever, okay, cool. We're done. Get me out of here. Two hours and 13 minutes now. The Dane army is much stronger than it was three years ago. Yes, by far. Even after the situation turned against them, every soldier fought with valor. Quite impressive. They kept muttering about power of, this ge of their general, this Maiden of Dawn. The soldiers seem obsessed with her. This might sound strange, but I think of it like this. They believe in her as much as you, Holy Knights, believe in the Apostle. I understand. They are a formidable and deluded, then. Shall I use caution? Or I shall use caution. Yikai, it's over. The front line is broken. The Apostle's army is crossing the bridge. Alright, then order retreat. What? what? No! Are you a simpleton? Just destroy the bridge! Inspector, with all due respect, Dane soldiers will also die if we destroy the bridge now. Those are... Which is funny, because we've already crossed the bridge, so it doesn't make any sense. Those are... Those are called acceptable losses, my dear, and any losses suffered by your men are acceptable if it means stopping that army. As a representative of the Senate, I will not allow you to retreat. Fight to the last man. Inspector, while I expect your opinion, the final decision is up to me, as commander-in-chief of this army. So, order the retreat. Get those men out of there before they, they're rooted, routed. Insolent little brat, how dare you disobey my orders. We could always leave you here while the rest of us retreat, Inspector. How does that sound? Y you I will report this incident to both your king and the Senate. Start thinking of an excuse now, whelps. Pompous fool. Well, I'll go over the retreat. Yikaya! I'm sorry. I... Don't move. I'll be right back. What's happening? I was doing so well for a while. I feel like fog is clouding my mind. Am I... Losing my powers? Funny. I always wish that I didn't have this farsight. 
It often feels like such a burden. But this clouded vision seems so strange. Now, I miss the clarity. Ironic, isn't it, Yune? Maybe because the war is taking its toll on you, Mikaya, you should probably stop fighting. Because it only started when you joined the war. Hmm. What's wrong, Raphael? I sense something strange. It came out of the blue. It was some sort of voice. My brother, did you just call for me? I did not. You heard it too, Rayson. What's going on here? What was that voice? I don't know, but it's calling for us. The voice was calling from the northeast, from the direction of Dane. I have a bad feeling about this. Let us head for Dane. Please prepare to leave immediately. I will speak with King Canegas and get permission to leave. I hope nothing has happened to your sister. As do I. All I know is I must go there. There is that much is certain. Alright, that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my loss. I lost uh, Heather. I don't know. She didn't have any items, right? Just extra healing and then her daggers themselves. So, um, Yeah, I'm really upset about that. If you guys see this before I even look at the replay, well, I'm going to look at the replay right now so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to look and see. If I was taking fives and then all of a sudden I took a six, I'm going to be really upset about that. I already am, so. Um, yeah, the reason I said earlier that I need the chest, I'm going to need chest keys is because without Heather in my squad, um, during the last part, I won't have a, a thief, or a rogue in this case, able to steal or open chests and doors, uh, specifically with Ike's group. So it is unfortunate because now I have to have door keys, or I, I think I could break open doors. Um, so I need chest keys. And I don't know if we have enough chest keys during that chapter to open all the chests. And then yet alone, if I get to that chapter, my mind's probably going to figure that, that I'm going to need the chest keys. So we'll see. Um, we'll see. Wow. This one didn't go as well as I thought. Not only did I take way longer than I thought I would, but I lost somebody. And that sucks. That's it for now. Comment down below what you guys thought. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to this point. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. We are going to now control the Dayan army for two chapters straight. Um, we'll see. Uh, this next one's pretty difficult. The next one after that's pretty difficult. I should have the crew to be able to do these two chapters. But you never know. As we found out here, anything can happen. So we'll see what happens next. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.